When my friend Wesley Zimmerman asked me if I could figure out how to put together these empty sashes, I was like, I think I probably can. So he brought them over and I started taking them apart. Most people don't know that sash in the turn of the century are made so that they can come apart very simply. You see I'm taking these little pins out here, I'm just pushing them through and what that does is it loosens up the joints. People ask me all the time, do I glue my sashes together that I make right now? And the answer to that is no, because I like to make them the same style that they were made at the turn of the century. Because, you know, if somebody was to want to work on them or something like that, they could still take them apart again, like I'm taking them apart now. You have to take them apart so that you can start to fit the new muntins in. So here I am on the bandsaw, starting to cut new muntins in. I got little tenons I'm making and I have a couple little operations I gotta go through to make them fit. So the first thing is to cut little angles and and lengths and things like that so that everything fits just right. So there I am using the meat hammer. The meat hammer is something that everybody has. Some people's meat hammers are better than others. Mine's pretty experienced. This is a block plane that is really, really handy for fitting tenons. I just got it at a flea market for like 15 bucks or something like that. It's an older one, so it's got really good steel in it. So the sash has to be able to come apart so that you can fit these new Muntins in there. Wesley brought me a whole bunch of Muntin stock that he had milled up to match his existing profiles. So I got this Muntin fit, and now I'm gonna mortise it here. This is my hollow chisel mortiser. Powermatic. It's got a bed that goes back and forth so that you can do elongated holes. It's pretty useful. These things make really quick work of the square holes. It it would be hard to do this without it. I guess you could use a square chisel or a hand chisel if you so desire, but make a really nice square hole really fast. So back to the bandsaw, cutting out the little Montanitos. Let's see if this one fits. Does it fit? Ah, I've got to do a little adjustment on there. And I'm get my block plane out again and do a little scrape, 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 or actually slice, 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 and see if it fits again. Does it fit? No. See, what I don't, what I, I think my tenon's a little long, but I haven't discovered that yet, so I'm gonna, I think what, I'm gonna shave it some more? Maybe that'll shorten my tenon. <laughs> well, maybe not. But I'm gonna figure out in just a second. See how it's rocking back and forth in there? Man, what's going on? Oh, I bet it's too long. So I step around to my bandsaw, cut it off a little bit, and bang, fits just right. So now I guess that guy fits. I'm gonna do the other ones next. Now this last one here, it's really, really not wanting to go in. So I'm working really hard at whittling it down and I almost have to whittle it down too much. So, but I've got a solution for that. I'm gonna take my filister plane here that allows me to get right up on the edge. You also call it rabbit plane. And this kind of recreates the profile for me. So, although it is skinny, it still fits really, really nice. All right, so let's get this thing back apart and back together see if we can make everything fit like it's supposed to. 
And there she goes, right where she's supposed to be. So I'll use the meat hammer again to spread it apart enough to get my little Montanitos in now that they fit. I gotta pop it all back together, slow down just a little bit. Use my actual tapper. My meat hammer just had too much oomph to it, so just a little small tap to make it fit like it should. So a couple more little taps here on the end. And I will be satisfied. Here they go. Bang, bang, bang. Isn't that nice? A straight edge on this pretty soon. Make sure everything is all in alignment and nothing is pushing that big long mountain out of the way. It's important to get it all in alignment. So I'm going to do that to the rest of the sash and once I do that it'll all be ready to put together. So that's what it kind of takes. So I won't bore you with the rest of the pieces fitting together but this last piece cutting the tenons off not the tenons but the pegs the wood pegs to peg the corners i use those rather than the metal nails because these won't ever rust and you can glue those in place that's kind of nice so i'm going to pan up real here right here and it's going to show you what i did and it's just going to look really really nice i think so what do you think about that? Pretty good, huh? There's Wes, loading him up, ready to go in his Volkswagen bus.